hi guys so sorry for not posting videos regularly actually i am undergoing uh, i am going through shifting and stuff so i won't be able to make videos regular, regularly till 10th of august uh, because there's a problem of wifi okay uh, anyway so <clears throat> now i'll be discussing about some nmr questions now nmr is a topic which is very easy but i know a lot of people who get really scared when they see nmr questions now it's it's like the most scoring um, uh, four marker from organic so you can definitely get it and even for an inorganic or a physical chemist it is very easy to solve nmr questions so i'll just i'll just be discussing about my approach to nmr questions because i, I hardly take more than one one and a half minutes to solve this question okay so there's a particular approach you need to follow and what i follow is basically elimination method so basically now this is the question given and these are the values given 3.8 singlet 3 hydrogens 6.5 broad singlet 2 hydrogens 6.7 doublet and these are the coupling constant values given 8.8 .8 and 1h okay then 7.58 doublet j value that is coupling constant is given to be 2.4 hertz okay and 1 hydrogen similarly over here it's delta 7.75 chemical shift doublet of a doublet okay and then there are two j values one is 8.8 .8 and one is 2.4 now how do how to go about these such questions okay so first of all you uh, try and eliminate the uh, answer through you know this uh, through the chemical shift value so it's given 3.8 first so 3.8 is basically uh, and singlet 3 hydrogen so that means three hydrogens are present only on a methyl group okay over here in these four options now if you see 3.8 singlet 3 hydrogens so 3.8 is quite a huge uh, chemical shift for methyl because methyl generally shows around 1 uh, delta value of 1 if it's pure you know it's if um, if methyl is attached to a neutral group like you know if we have say ch3 ethane we have right so over here we'll have it uh, will have the shift value around 1 now if you see 3.8 that means it is attached to an electron withdrawing group so over here it's attached to oxygen over here it's attached to oxygen electron withdrawing group or electronegative group right over here also it's attached to oxygen so over here the 3.8 value is justified but if you come to this this is attached to a carbon which is a carbonyl carbon yeah yes this carbon will be a slightly uh, electronegative but not that electronegative so as to call, cause you know this much de-shielding that we get a delta value of 3.8 so you can partially eliminate eliminate it okay you can partially eliminate it now so on the basis of chemical shift we get 6.5 uh, broad singlet two hydrogens now broad means basically it's an acidic proton and two hydro two hydrogens so the acidic proton is basically this nitrogen uh, two hydrogens attached to this nitrogen right so these are the acidic protons so we have nh2 in all of them so this is justified so we have this okay then we come on to 6.7 doublet 6.7 then we have 7.58 then 7.75 this is nothing but the aromatic region right and this is 6.7 this is 7.75 that means this hydrogen is quite de-shielded that is uh, i think you know what is de-shielded okay and this is a shield this is quite shielded 6.7 so these are present on the same phenyl ring okay now what i do is now i look at the splitting pattern so okay we have singlet so in all the cases we have singlet because there is no other there is no hydrogen next to the uh, hydrogens of the methyl then we look at the 6.5 broad singlet two hydrogens again there is no hydrogen over here so as to split these two hydrogens of the nitrogen so again we are fine here now coming on to this now 6.7 doublet 7.58 doublet and 7.75 doublet of a doublet now you need to remember this so we have two doublets and one doublet of a doublet okay now if you look at this option okay and one more thing if you see the j value over here it's 8.8 .8 and it's 2.4 so the coupling constant has significantly decreased so one 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 doublet is splitting it with a coupling constant of 8.8 .8 hertz that means it is a quite it is basically undergoing quite a powerful coupling whereas this 2.4 is quite weak coupling and if you see over here this 2.4 and this is 8.8 .8, that means this is splitting it into a doublet and this is also splitting it into a doublet but this is showing a weak coupling as compared uh, with with this hydrogen so that means this is sh uh, sh uh, situated far off so generally you need to know that this a uh, you know in the range of 6 to uh, 6 to 10 hertz it's three bond coupling okay 
and if it's 2.4 then it's more than three bond three bond coupling so in case of a phenyl ring if you see so a three bond coupling will be so if you like have a hydrogen here and if you have a hydrogen here so one bond two bond three bond so this is a three bond coupling so you can also call it as a ortho coupling okay but if you uh, if you if if there's this hydrogen over here now how many bond coupling one bond two bond three bonds four bonds coupling so this is quite weak so a four bond coupling is quite weak and this can also be termed as meta coupling so you can say that this particular hydrogen is one it's undergoing ortho coupling and meta coupling okay similarly over here if you see the j value is 2.4 hertz so this hydrogen is undergoing meta coupling okay it is not going under any ortho coupling now if you come on to this this uh, particular option if you see there's one hydrogen over here so we can just write it over here one hydrogen one hydrogen one hydrogen now there's one had one uh, proton that is going that is undergoing doublet of a doublet okay with one meta one ortho coupling and one meta coupling which is which we are finding out with the help of j values so if you look at this option this is going ortho coupling and this one sh one should go so one one ortho coupling and there should be one meta coupling but you see that the both of both the couplings are ortho so you can say that this is not the option so you can eliminate this as well so this is the trick to elimination so now you eliminated these two options now you're only left with these two so now you can actually spend a good amount of time uh, in the, uh, in deciding which one of the which one of the two is the answer because this this elimination method might take say 20 25 seconds then you have at least one one and a half minutes to solve the question also sometimes it happens like in this case we have, we got only two eliminations but in some cases it happens it's very straightforward and you get three eliminations as well so i have picked pick, picked up this particular question because this is a little little tricky and it covers most of the uh, good uh, concepts okay now coming on to these two parts <clears throat> so we have okay now we need to focus on the chemical shift value so 6.7 like i told you means it's shielded that means now we if you see over here we have two electron donating groups and one electron withdrawing group okay so nitro is electron withdrawing it withdraws from the ortho position and the para position similarly this methoxy group also it donates in the ortho position ortho position and the para position okay so now you need to figure out what which which proton is which okay so I'll just write it hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay. So it's given 6.7 doublet. Okay. And it's given J equal to 8.8. .8. So let's focus on this. J is 8.8. .8, that means it's undergoing ortho coupling. It, it is not undergoing any meta coupling. So let's find out which proton can this particular proton be. So if we are saying it's 6.7 and J 8.8, .8, that means it is not going meta coupling. So if we focus on this particular hydrogen, this is this is undergoing it is undergoing meta coupling as well as ortho coupling so this cannot be this particular proton if we concentrate on this particular proton if you see this it is going ortho coupling but it has no meta hydrogen so uh, 6.7 we can assign to this particular uh, hydrogen now coming on to this particular uh, uh, compound if you see now which one can we assign this hydrogen cannot be assigned because it is going ortho as well as meta coupling that means it is th this doublet of a doublet okay and this particular hydrogen is undergoing ortho coupling but no meta coupling so this hydrogen over here this is our 6.7 this hydrogen so now this is 6.7 and this this is 6.7 now which one do you think is more feasible of undergoing uh, shielding okay so which one which one of the two do you think is more shielded to obtain a value of 6.7 so if you look at the options so here we have a amine group close to it and here we have a nitro group on the ortho ortho position so this is this this proton will be highly deshielded because there is an electron withdrawing group present ne next to it so what will happen is this will be deshielded and this will have a very high value so generally we have for uh, uh, aromatic protons the value as in the range of 7 to 7 5 7 to 7.5 like for example if you take benzene for example or phenyl right so this is the particular range but if you are having 6.7 that means it's highly shielded that means the electron withdrawing group is present electron donating group is present so over here we have this amine but over here we have electron withdrawing group nitro so this value would be very high as compared to this particular 
compound so we can def definitely say that our option is number two now this is a short short way so you you do not need to go to all the protons and then decide okay what what can be the answer because that will take a lot of time so this is a very short way of finding out the answer now let's let's just confirm okay i'm just uh, just let's just confirm because in the exam don't do it because you do not do not have the time but over here i am explaining you so uh, i am doing it okay so now let's let's just see whether it fits or not so I said this is 6.7. This is our this is our doublet of a doublet because it's undergoing ortho and a meta coupling. So the only proton that is going ortho coupling and a meta coupling is this particular. So this is 7.7. .7. And like what I sh what I told you, since an electron withdrawing nitro group is present ortho to it, so this will have a highly D shielded. That is, it will come downfield. So that's why its value 7.7. .7. And this we can say is in the middle 7.58. And the reason for that is that it has a uh, or on the ortho side it has a electron withdrawing group but sim simultaneously it also has a electron donating group so that's why it's somewhere in the middle right so then we can we can confirm and we can say this is our particular answer so this is a particular way that i go about so first of all eliminate the compounds with the help of chemical shift values then see the splitting pattern if you can eliminate something by the splitting pattern and then go for the coupling values and with the help of coupling values, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you will be able to solve the uh, questions. Okay. And if you like my style of explanation, just, uh, you know, just comment down below and uh, I'll do some other NMR videos and tell you more tricks that I have up my sleeve to solve these questions. Okay. So thank you.